Hi, Michael DiCarlo here for DiCarlosDanger.com, my blog here along the international border in Sierra Vista, Arizona, outside the footprint of Fort Huachuca, the Military Intelligence Center of Excellence, or where I like to say where the lie begins. Hey, I was looking, uh, those of you who follow Q, and I follow Q, I think it's, if anything, it's a great exercise thinking outside the box, and it's a wonderful research project so you can actually learn about your American history. There's no conspiracy about any of this stuff here. It's just uh, a for oh, does it, It's almost like uh, comparing the government and its actions to uh, Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. But anywho, uh, post four six six, talking about the votes down here in Arizona. All right, if the governor won by 328,000 votes, and Kirsten, Mc Kirsten Cinema is winning by 32,000 votes, but the governor won Maricopa County by 325,000 votes. But the senator is winning in Maricopa by 32,000 votes. That's a 350,000 swing vote to the Democratic senator. It's not the way that I read it. The governor won by 328,000 votes, and he won in Maricopa County by 325,000 votes. That means that he only won the state by 3,000 votes, the rest of it. So the... Uh, Red Shield of Maricopa County uh, the stronghold there for the state the business interests uh, was per voted predominantly for the current governor and a lot of that business interest is in public business because everything's a corporation uh, School districts, everything. <laughs> if it's public, it's a corporation. So it means that the governor did a good job of buying off a significant amount of teachers by promising them, public teachers, public school teachers, by promising them a 20% pay raise over the next 20, so many months or years, 36 months or something like that. And it also means that probably a lot of the police officers and stuff, public employees voted for him because if the teachers are going to raise, and they are too. <clears throat> but then here, you're saying that the Democratic Senator McSinema uh, or Cinema, sorry, I apologize, is won the county by 32,000 votes. Well, this is how it makes sense. Arizona would like to see leadership in its corporation, but the only way that the corporation makes more money without is uh, from the federal government. Which means that if the spending increases proportionally based upon an airport, federal land surrounding it, uh, government owned land everywhere, Arizona is going to get a significant sum based merely upon property. Uh, the property is a trade for what used to be a difference in population because the East Coast is so much more pop, pop East and West Coast are. Uh, so much pop more populated than the middle of the country, whereas uh, you're represented by the population, the land is state-owned, depending on who you want to call the state, either the feds or the state of Arizona or Utah or whatever. Those federal lands are 
also taxed at a rate where they need to be funded the property of the real estate, not us, because we're only three-fifths of their property, or three-fifths of our own property. We're two-fifths of their property. That's the hard part, guys, is that you can't get to 50%, because 50% is, uh, I mean, we're already at a period of socialism. There is no real freedom. You're owned, taxed for your existence, for the privilege to reside here. Man, it makes me sick. But it's true. But anyway, uh, I thought I'd review that with you. Here's the theory I was working on. People are smarter than the parties. Well, maybe they were, were saying that the business of war, they'd rather have it paid up in a different way. But either way, the answer is brought in with the, the supplication of we'll bring the war to you if you don't want to send your kids to war. I don't know. Just something that I was throwing around in my head. I'll probably make this into a longer video. I'll take myself a couple times. But anyway, Michael DeCarlo for DeCarlo's Danger.com. Out.